Hello, and welcome to our Isinga2 tutorial video for installing Isinga2 from the Azure Marketplace. Before we get started, let's go over some prerequisites. First, we're going to require that you already have a web browser installed in your box, whether it's Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, it doesn't really matter as long as you can access the Azure portal from your box. Second, we're going to require that you have an Azure active subscription and account. If you haven't already, please go ahead and do that before starting this video. Take of note the fact that the trial subscription that comes with your account won't be sufficient for installing our image as those trial credits will only cover the usage of the box itself and not the usage of our Isinga support package. The two options available out of the box today are bronze and platinum level support. Bronze being from 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and platinum being 24 by 7 respectively. Um, with a cost difference of 75 cents an hour for bronze and 99 cents an hour for platinum. There's other noticeable differences such as a shorter response time and an unlimited number of support cases, but you can read more about this on our website. Now let's get started on launching our Isenga image. Once you've logged into your Azure account, proceed by going to the new button in the upper left hand corner and typing in Isenga. The search should return a number of results um, that you'll see includes platinum support and bronze support in the description, but you'll also notice the different versions that are available today. Please select the latest version for bronze support before continuing, and read through the product description and legal terms before agreeing to use the product. If you have any questions about post installation or if you need to get access to support, you can use the useful links that are located inside of the description page in front of you. After reviewing the product description, support details, legal terms, and refund policy, click Create to launch your virtual instance. In the Name field, select the name of your new virtual instance. In the Username field, select the new username that will be used for SSH access. Note this username will not be used for the Isinga2 web portal. At this point, provide an SSH public key or an SSH password to access your virtual environment. Then select to either create a new resource group or select a pre-existing one. Next, select a virtual machine size. Note the three sizes that are shown in front of you are, are the recommended options provided by our team. Optionally, change the configuration options that are shown in front of you, but this is not required for the launching of this exercise. On the final screen, note the offer details. In this instance, we're using the Isinga 2.7 bronze image, which as I said earlier, is rated at 75 cents an hour. Also notice that the virtual machine hardware size being a standard DS2 will cost roughly 15 cents an hour. Please review the terms of use before continuing below, and when you're ready, hit create. Now that you've created your Isinga demo instance, go to your resource group, and find the image that you launched previously. Once you've located the newly created host, note the IP address of the system. We will be using this to manage the system remotely. Copy your machine's IP address and using an SSH client, log into your remote host. At this point, you'll either need to provide the SSH key or password used when creating the instance. Once you've logged into the remote host, cat the following file using the sudo command. You'll notice a series of passwords that have been generated on your box. To access the web console, copy the password that you see in front of you associated with the Isinga2 web console. Using your web browser, go to the IP address of your Isinga2 host machine. The web browser should automatically redirect you to the Isinga2 web login portal. Using the password you copied earlier and the username of Isinga admin, log into the web console. At this point, you should now be successfully logged into your web browser and you should be able to see that there's a number of services that are currently up and running successfully. 
We would like to thank you for watching our video today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or issues with the content that's being displayed in this video, please contact us at your earliest convenience at support.shadow-soft.com. Thank you, and we hope to see you guys again.